Many times all we hear is the voice of the enemy. And the voice of the enemy says this, little black boy wear my suit. And we say no because my mama said, if I go to school and I get a good education, I could beat you. And the suit says, you can't beat me. You're gonna be just like your no good daddy. You're gonna be just like everybody who looks like you, who walk like you, who talk like you, who grew up in the same neighborhood as you. This is where you belong. What you wanna be a doctor, it laughs at you. <laughs> You from Burleigh. You want to be a lawyer? You want to be a businessman? You want to own a Fortune 500 company? No, that's for the smart people of the world. That's for white people. That's for all the individuals who have privilege. Black male incarceration is a terrible thing in terms of its impact on the stability of neighborhoods. Our job is to deal with mass victimization. Part of that outcome is people get arrested and presented to the criminal justice system. Over the last quarter of a century, the United States has decided, it appears implicitly, to delegate its social ills to the criminal justice system. There has been more people that have been incarcerated out of this area than any area in the entire world. Not just the United States, but in the world. Not because they were hardcore criminals, because if we let the truth be told, we're no more safer. I just can't wait. I can't wait till you come home. and We don't have to be on these phones anymore. I don't know if I'm ever gonna wanna talk to you on the phone again. I just can't. I want to I just want you home. <laughs> People who don't have a loved one incarcerated, what they feel is, oh, the system will let him out when he's ready, but the system has failed us. All of his conditions are met. There is no reasonable explanation as to why he's still in there. My son been gone 25 years ago. Now, my grandson locked up. I'm reliving it again. I've been in jail 25 years because when a parent, a grandparent, a child is in jail, you in prison also. The whole family doing time. A lot of my friends have been devastated and destroyed by this community. All of my friends who I did wrong with, I wanted to be the inspiration for them to say, look, if I can change, you can change. We're not paying attention to what we're doing as men, and it's a generation of young people that's around us, watching this, aspiring to be just like us. Ain't no joke going to jail. It don't make you no man. We want this to be the only jail that you see. On the count of three, we're gonna sing happy birthday. One, One two, three. Happy birthday to you. Dear God, we come to you as humbly as we know how. Thank you for today. We love you, God, in your son Jesus' name. We pray, amen. 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 So I always taught my kids, we are all that we have. We are a family and we have to stay a family. So if we add to the family, great, but we will not subtract from our family. This is why now you see everybody focusing on 53206 right now because we have been making noise. I fundamentally believe if you've been in a hole in life, uh, you have a responsibility. If you, if you figure out a way of making it out of that hole, you have a responsibility to reach down back in that hole and pull some other people up and so they can get the same opportunities to see what you see.